Last week, we talked about sewing projects, so today, I'm going to show you some sewing projects. I made a hem cover. Okay, I didn't make it. I fixed it, but it's still my hem cover, so check it out. This is our hem cover. It goes over our steering wheel, or on a boat, as it's called, a helm. We've got, this is where the wheel actually has been putting stress on the material. I already re-hemmed it. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to pin this into place. And see if that can't put some reinforcement. Woohoo! My first completed project! What? So here we go. I have put in my reinforcement patch so that it will hopefully prevent where that hole was from the helm. I touched up the seam and rehemmed because it was it had come undone and was trying to tear. And this patch job isn't too good, but I redid the seam there. Boom! We could probably handle having more sewing supplies as it is. I have these are my push bins. I don't have a fancy dancy pin cushion, but I got this. And I have one roll of black thread. And I have one huge thing of white thread which came from Sailrite and the most important tool when it comes to sewing whether you're on a boat sewing helm covers or if you're on land sewing patches onto a vest it's the handy dandy seam ripper so, I need to point out that I have to say a very large thank you to my mother-in-law, Glow, because I didn't know anything about sewing before she started having me help her with the cuts and the colors, so thank you, Glow! And I also have to say a very large, well, of course, there's a thank you to Vicki because that's where we got the sewing machine from, but I also have to say a very large thank y'all to my very, very attractive and helpful husband because I ordered larger needles because the material that we're going through is quite a bit thicker than regular sewing projects. So I ordered some larger sewing needles for the sewing machine from Sailrite. Unfortunately, my brother's sewing machine doesn't take a round needle. It takes a, like, hoot needle. It's like a semicircle, and it's got a flat spot on it. Well, the needles we got from Sailrite were round. So, Johnny had to take out some kind of grinder and like grind the top, the round part of the needle. Not the part that goes through the, the fabric, but the part that goes into the machine. He had to grind it down and actually make it like have a flat on one side and then round on the other like the semicircle. So thank you Johnny! And one project done. One project done. Woo, woo, woo. And while I'm over here doing sewing projects, Athena's over here doing schoolwork. Right now I'm reading. Right now you're what? Reading. Reading. I'm supposed to read for 20 minutes. And these things, Athena, you want to tell me about these things? 
They're jellyfish that I made. Athena's making jellyfish. And she is the goddess of creativity. The two right there broke. I also made this. It's glued. It's my key holder. Your key holder. I also decorated this. Very cool. Hey, how old is Grandpa? Eight. Eight? Whenever I turn 11, he, he, he she is going to be nine. He, she. Yeah. Lady is supposed to be a girl, but I call her Grandpa, so it's also a boy. Why so do she you... doesn't really have a gender. Why do you call her Grandpa? Because Grandpa gave her to me. When did Grandpa give her to you? When I was two. Your second birthday. He gave you Grandpa and a thing of Twizzlers and some chalky milk. Chalky? He gave me chalky milk? Yeah, that's what you called it. Chalky milk! Because when you live on a boat in the water, you don't have enough jellyfish around you. So your kid has to make more jellyfish. You can't really pet them or touch their stingers. I'm doing people a favor. Thank you very much. You can't pet jellyfish? You can't touch their stingers. I think I have a picture that proves that you can touch jellyfish. But I meant their stingers. Their stingers? No, you gotta touch the bell. The top of a jellyfish is a bell. So, I have finished my first sewing project. My beautiful helm cover. And, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna go fly a kite. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna take my little goddess to do it with me. Check it out. all while at the beach. Athena, what are you doing?
doesn't matter. Where we go? Athena's gonna be up in the tree. Get down. It's the tiniest avocado seed in the world. I guess that's going to be just about it for this week. So, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. We'll see you next week. Be good to each other.